Alright, so I'm in the cage. This is the final part of this installation. To test out this product, it's holding a 160 pound person. I don't think it, it says to even hold a dog that big. This is just a medium size, but I'm in the cage. It's very uncomfortable. Six foot, 160 pound person in the cage. But um, that would really suck if this latch did not open for me, if it somehow did that, so. Building a Pro Select professional crate made out of high grade steel. For your dog or a sex slave for punishments if you're into that kink. And I already have a dog crate that came already installed in one piece that way. But this one from Amazon, I have to install it myself. So, looks fairly simple. Comes with a bag of screws. And this is optional. Wheels and a tray for if your creature <laughs> is going to go to the bathroom in there. See that? But I'm thinking I'm going to have that on the bottom so I'm not going to use the wheels or the tray. I'm going to put that on the top. That way the person that's inside of it has a nice view of the hills and a nice view of the sloth that's going to be in a cage right here too. And some gray African parrots. I'm gonna to try to make that all coexist. And when it's time for a punishment from my baby girl, they're gonna be getting the nice view cage up here. But if they don't deserve the view, they're gonna be down here. But I really do wanna get the wheels on there. I can roll it on out and around the corner. <laughs> So anyways, let's install this, put it up there, and we'll see about it. And then I might swap it, put it on the bottom, and add the, the wheels on the tray. So step one is to just take four of these and put one side, make sure this is at the bottom, and make sure these tabs on the back, the back side are facing inward. And I already did this one, and you just... You just put put them in like that and screw it. Same thing. Here. Four more of those. Boom. And you got three sides done. And then you'll have a roof and the front piece and the bottom piece. Might take uh been doing it for about 10-15 minutes already. Maybe I'll be done by three. An update. Step one. It says to make sure that these on the back side are facing inward, but it says nothing about if the side pieces should face inward or outward. See? So I just assume that they're supposed to be inward too. And then also it says four hex head screws for each side. No, it's only three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I just spent a bunch of time putting on the sides and it's only three screws on each side, not four. And a couple times it gets stuck, you jam, you gotta just keep wiggling until they lock in a place and then keep screwing it on in. So I can finally move on to step two, which is attach the front wall with the door to the side with bottom tabs facing inward using four hex screws. See, I mean, even here, it only shows six hex screws. <laughs> and yet they say four. So here we go again. We'll see if it's four or not. Once again, it's going to be three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six. And the tabs facing inward. So six hex screws, not eight. Once again... Apparently they think 
three is four. But no, three is three. I mean, it's, it's that simple. One, two, and let's see, how many do they even show? One, two, three, four, five, six. They only show six. So, they're so stupid. I don't know if that's dyslexia or what, but six screws. There's six holes, so there's going to be six more screws. I mean, maybe they count in these, but you don't use them yet till maybe the next step. Let's just finish step two, and then we'll look at it. So when putting the front door on, I did the top screw first on both sides, and then the middle, it's hard. You had to pull up, pull up on this, and it locked into place, because this thing just kept not wanting to go in. It just kept bouncing off the sides, and it would not lock in. So you really had to pull up on it, but first get the tops in on both sides, and then you can do the middle holes, and then go to the bottom. All right, so step one and step two are done. There's no top or bottom yet, but there we go, step three. Install the floor grate by dropping it through the top, position it so it rests on the t tabs inside the cage. So this one with all the, the thinner, the thinner bars, it's pretty heavy. I'm just gonna drop it right in. There's holes on both sides, so it doesn't seem to matter. <sighs> Not hurt your fingers putting it in, because there's very little room to work with. There we go. But it goes right in. There we go. Four. Attach cage top using four <laughs> we'll see if it's four attach the top you put them in on the sides one two this time it actually is going to be four three four and I assume assume this is the top I don't know what that is Oh, that's the cage bottom. So this is a floor grate that we just did. But then there's still a, a cage bottom. And then there's the tray. Okay, but this is the cage top. Going to be four screws, and then we'll go to five. So step four is kind of tricky. Because as you start to put the first in, you got to hold this in line. And the other sides are, you know, collapsing in or sticking up. So I haven't tightened it yet. And then I went to this opposite corner and it was hard to like pull it back up because it had fallen through. So it was totally like, you know, like diagonal. I pulled it up and then this side didn't want to go down. So you just kind of keep playing with it. And then they all are nice and even and it's being held by the one screw over there. And then I started to put this in by hand, which I'm still turning. And then I just put this one in. I'm still turning. I still got to tighten them. And then I put this one in. So eventually it gets flush. And it's all even. So I'm finishing step four right now. And I don't know how there's still... Really that's all the steps. I mean, eight steps is deceiving. And it is about to be 3 a.m., Probably still got another 10, 15 minutes, but I'm going to take a break because Morning Joe, MSNBC, I always watch it. Their heads are exploding at Trump because he killed 22 people, apparently. But yeah, step five is just going to be uh, screw casters into the bottom corners of the cage. I'm not going to even do that. Slide the cage bottom into place through the opening. So hopefully I can still put, I'm going to try to put this in. We'll leave that suspense for when I get back up here in an hour. I just want to be able to put the, wait, that. Oof, that's going to The alarm just went off. Cage bottom. I'm going to slide that in. And then slide the tray in. So there's seven steps. Oh, there we go. Pro select Empire cage. 
medium. So I realize that this is not supposed to be like this. I mean, step th two or three said this bottom grate is supposed to slide on down and sit on the tabs that are inward, like it is. But, nah, this is supposed to be up to here. I think it's got all these extra screws still. And so this is supposed to be equal with this, the bottom of the door. And then when you put the wheels on, then you put the grate, the tray in here, and the bottom piece under that. Uh, so there's a lot of complicated stuff here. Because those directions are a joke. It's such BS. Look at what number three says. Insert it through the top opening. Position it so it rests on top of the tabs inside the cage. It's, it's resting on all of the tabs. You just drop it right in. But clearly now I see there's... There's four of these holes, so I'm supposed to raise it, and it's supposed to be flush with the bottom of the door. It's not supposed to have this gap down here. But I can't lift it up now, because of these stupid tabs. So, now I've got a hammer. So in conclusion, these instructions are a complete joke. Like I've said, when <laughs> instruction one says use four hex screws for each side, no, it's just three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And when it says to install the floor grate by just dropping it through and it'll just rest on the tabs, yeah. If you let that happen, it just drops all the way to the bottom, and it rests, and it looks like it's perfect. But then it, it lets you, the, whoever's in here, or paws, or hands, just go right on and be able to, no, you're supposed to not be able to. So you have to raise it up. I had to hammer, I had to hammer this thing. Now I'll hammer it back inward. And now it will look like the freaking picture. And then you put the wheels on if you want. And then you put the tray in, slide it in there. And this thing, bottom piece goes on too. Bottom piece, then the tray. I don't think I want any of that though. I skipped step five about the wheels, but slide the cage bottom into place. Now that, yep, you just... You just slide it right in. And you gotta go to the back side. And lift it up. And then it goes right in like that. So, bottom piece does just slide right in and just sits there. It just. The tray just goes in so I don't know why the wheels step supposed to go first if you want it on wheels but um and then final step slide the tray into position so done so only thing I didn't do is step five screwing the wheels in so I'm gonna have it sitting on top of there and uh, then it would roll off all right so I'm in the cage this is the final part of this installation to test out this product it's holding a 160 pound person I don't think it, it says to even hold a dog that big this is just a medium size but i'm in the cage it's very uncomfortable six foot 160 pound person in the cage but um that would really suck if this latch 
did not open for me if it somehow <laughs> did that. So, cage works. Cage is sturdy. It holds up. The tray's in there. If I got locked in there and I had to pee, I could pee. Oh. Take the tray out and wash it out so the cage is very reliable. You can put a master lock on it. Alright, this video is done. <sighs> but impactdogcrates.com, that's a thousand dollar cage, and this is a five hundred dollar cage. <sighs> Gonna stack them there. Put some nice skateboards. Ah, just stepped on some screws. Put these nice skateboards up. Got a product review on these two already. I'm gonna do a video on all that. Yeah, there's a little sneak peek. But yeah, this is the probably the most controversial one by Mr. O, who teamed up with Supreme. There's it's a three part series. This one was the craziest one of the three. It's look on eBay. Mr. O, Supreme. This is $1,000. $1,500 people want for this. It's crazy. I'm going to make this a nice area. So a very kinky area. It's a punishment session time here. Or put you in the ring. Bend you over the ring. So this, this upstairs is a work in progress. We're going to keep doing update videos. This, this area is going to be unbelievable in another couple months. Bubble Fountain, Azotar. <laughs> this roof is going to be crazy with arcade games. And this corner is going to have a sloth. <laughs>